All right, so we moved to good guys, turn two. So this was just weird. We we thought we'd be clever, and I charged with my questing knights uh, and the big block of dwarfs into his knights. Now, his knights were more to the right, but what happened was his uh, we did the dwarfs first. They failed their charge, but still went forward five inches. And so the, my questing knights went in there. They Actually, the way I had them lined up, they couldn't fit. And then we realized, well, they could fit with the, my, the two two of my front guys touching them if the guy in the back row was all the way to the left. And so my opponent very graciously said, yeah, let's count it. And then because I couldn't get more into contact, he slid his down to get to get him into contact. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to play or not. It worked for us, so that's why we played it. Um, otherwise, we moved, as you can see. Um, so... He knew I was going to double charge my Knights Aaron and my Knights of the Realm into his Chaos Warriors. And I felt very confident in that battle, and I think he was confident. So when I declared my first charge, he fled, because if he waited for my second charge, he would have fled at an angle and would have been off the board. So he fled from my Knights Errant, ran through his own units, lost a couple guys to dangerous, uh, to dangerous terrain test, or whatever test that is, because he ran through you know, my, my unit in combat. Um, my Pegasus Knights failed to rally. Uh, way to go, guys. So what we have here is my Knight's Errant obviously had a failed charge, and I didn't want to redirect at the um, cho at the um, Chosen because I I really did, wasn't sure that we could make the distance. And, between, and I don't want to get in there with one unit, and I figure between both units, it just nothing good was going to happen. Alternatively, what might have happened is I may have tried to redirect and I just failed my charge again. And in either way, whatever. They are where they are. They, they went ahead like two inches. And they're stuck. With them not getting the charge, the Knights of the Realm, again, I, I think before we even rolled distances, they just I just decided not to charge the, the Chosen. I don't want to get in there with one unit of Knights, even though they're big units. I want, I want to double team them. And actually, with the Chaos Warriors out of the way, I can wait to my next turn, double team both these guys in there, and I'm pretty confident about that working out to my advantage. Very confident about the general. He's got the heartwood lance, the tress of the sword, so I'm hitting on twos, wounding on um, fours, but any sixes is killing blow on the thing. And then if I if I put some wounds on him but don't kill him, my hippogriff has a bunch of attacks as well. So confident. I'm confident on the right side of the board. This I'm again. I, I the dwarfs were kind of a fluke. We we didn't really think they'd make it to combat anyway. Um, yeah, not sure why I did that, because odds are I shouldn't break him. I'll be lucky to win it, and then, the, you know, obviously he can countercharge me with his Marauders next turn, and it could get ugly in a hurry. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying it was a horrible decision, but I don't remember what my thinking was in doing it. You guys, turn two. So I uh, angle my man at arms. Again, I, if I can just hold up the side of the board, I will be more than happy. Um, in hindsight, there are some other things I, could, I would have done differently. I would have put those thunders back in the house um, because it just it would have just changed some dynamics of things. But that whatever, That's, it is what it is. So we go to shooting and you know kill a couple of these guys. Nothing too major. Uh, kill a lot of these guys. These guys went from ten strong, meaning they would get fifteen strength five attacks, to being only three. Still getting six attacks plus the horses, but certainly better than it was. And you can see his uh, Exalted on the disc takes one wound. And over here, his Hell Cannon only does one wound. My guys are making saves left and right. If I haven't done any wounds on him. He does one wound on me. He wins by three, um, and I pass my... I need a five to stay, and I pass it. So, But I tried to reform. I needed a five again, and I couldn't do that. So I'm still stuck with him having a rear attack on me. Over here was just the worst. My general does three wounds on the guy, but doesn't get any sixes. My hippogriff gets two wounds. He's down to one wound, but that simply isn't enough. Now, the big surprise here, and I think the reason he wasn't afraid of me, was because he has always strike first. So he went first, decided to go against the hippogriff, and did two wounds on it, but couldn't kill it. So um, I was really hoping to get one more. Next round of combat will be okay. Um, but again, with that giant having always strike first, anything could happen. So made, made, made me nervous. So we go in here. Let's say I started with nine. I'm down to five. So we killed four Questy Knights. Um, I think I killed, uh, I don't remember what he had. But I probably, 
probably killed one because I think he lost two to shooting before, so I killed one of his, and we're stuck in combat. So I think that even though my guys are always strength six, I think that combat's going to go in his favor. So we go to the next turn, Warriors turn three. He decides not to countercharge with his Marauders. What he does is he, he countercharges with his War Altar. Uh, not sure I disagree with that decision. Uh, either way, he's fine. There on the left, he charged um, with his Warriors at the Thunderers. And then what we were thinking was, if he hits those Thunders, he's going to chop them up, and that's going to force panic tests, and I've got a bunch of peasants with no leadership around. So what I decided to do was just to flee with the Thunderers, which forced a panic on my men-at-arms, and of course, they failed their panic. And in case I forget later, they, they failed to rally in the next turn and ran right off the board. So, you know, kind of an epic fail there. Having the, the Thunderers there was just kind of weird, because they, they weren't tough enough to stand against anything, but and if they got beat, they were going to force panic. So, yeah, I mean, whatever. It's kind of a fail. My um, men-at-arms, even being stubborn, are only stubborn six, because they have a champion. And stubborn six without a reroll isn't that great anyway. So it's just weird. I usually I have knights around. Usually my battle standard bearers around them, giving them stubborn eight rerollable. But uh, you know, obviously we didn't follow that game plan in this game. So his uh, chaos warriors rally, and he did it in a way that he um, put them four wide so he can squeeze through that gap and charge my Pegasus knights on his next turn. And let's see, this is over here before fighting. Yeah. I don't know why I have all these pictures. Same thing over and over again. Oh, you have to turn your head. Okay, yeah, his uh, his three strong unit of of marauders charged the cannon over here. He's got six human attacks, strength five, three horse attacks. Uh no, six horse attacks, because they're frenzied. Uh, here on the very left side, his Exalted charges my unit. He issues a challenge, so I'm likely not going to get a wound on him this time, but my hope is all I need is one wound on that guy um, and, hope, hope, and, and just to kill him off. So I'm hoping just to get lucky over there. Close up of that battle. Uh, during his magic phase, he throws a bunch of, spell, bunch of dice at something. Whatever the spell was, it didn't do anything. When I used the feedback scroll, it didn't affect much, and the feedback scroll put two wounds on his sorcerer, and he died. So, eh, better than poking the eye. He fails to wound me again. He still wins combat. I, I uh, pass my break test, and then I take a test to reform. And so I reform. Instead of four wide, I go three wide. It didn't take anybody out of combat, and so we assume that's legal. But what it allowed it to do is make it so his warriors aren't going to be able to charge on his turn because they can't get around him and get into this guy. At least that's what we thought. And he doesn't have a rear flank anymore, so now... I have a much better chance of staying in combat, at least until those warriors are able to get in there. So over here, he puts two more wounds on my uh, Hippogriff and kills it, and that really hurts because I have the Heartwood Lance. So on subsequent rounds of combat, I'm only strength four, so I'm only wounding them on sixes, but with the Heartwood Lance, I get a reroll misses. So I can take all my dice, whatever I hit with, I can roll the wound. If I don't get Killing Blow, I can roll them all again. But the problem is, he has always strike first, so when he killed my Hippogriff out from under me, now I assume I can't use the lance while I'm standing on foot. So now I don't get those rerolls, and I didn't do any wounds on him. But I stick. So he kills three of my guys. Uh, because of that character, I'm stubborn. Eight, my reroll is nearby, so so we stick. And this, I, it made my game. The Marauders came in there with uh, six human attacks, six horse attacks, half on strength five, half on strength three or four, whatever. He only kills one dwarf. If he killed any, I think they come with four. And they got three wounds back. And just insane rolling knocked him out. It was beautiful. Uh, he kills my champion. He has two for his combat. I have none. I uh, need five, and I pass. So again, just hoping to get lucky. And we go to good guys, turn three. So uh, two units of dwarfs charge the flank of his war altar. The iron breakers charge the front of his big marauder unit, just trying to hold them up a turn. I think I can... Do, I can win that combat in the middle with all that combat res, and then we'll be freed up to, to go into that unit. There on the right-hand side, charge both my knight units into the Chosen, and my knight's errant failed. They, they rolled a 1, a 1, and a 2. So now I'm screwed. There's no way there's no way a unit of knights of the realm can take on Chosen, I don't believe. Yeah. Pretty frustrated about that. Um, 
Otherwise, things get ugly in the middle. Ugly or pretty, however you want to look at it. Nothing changes much over here. Shooting, concentrate everything we have at this unit. Get them weaker, uh, which is what I need to have happen. Through the lore of life, regrow a couple of these guys. Uh, this combat, he kills kills one more. We still hold. Oh, Iron Breakers didn't... Uh, failed. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think they would be broken there, but the problem is my, my son didn't bring a battle standard bearer, so they break. Uh, kills off the rest of my questing knights, otherwise we're stuck in combat as you can see. Uh, always strike first giant, gets yellow and ball, automatically wins combat by two. My general doesn't have a chance to kill him, fails his leadership test and runs away, gives the giant a uh, flank charge in my knight's errant. And my knights of the realm beat them in combat, couldn't believe it, but couldn't run them down, which is just insane. 